channel today. So today's video, I'm gonna be doing like a dope or nope on a few products from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I've actually been holding on to these products for some time now, but I recently ordered, well not really recently, I ordered three liquid lipsticks from him. It was all the three new shades, like Unicorn Blood, um, I don't even remember the other two, but I ordered all three of those shades like on June 8th and it's already July and I haven't even gotten a shipping confirmation. I've tried emailing them, I haven't heard anything back yet because I'm like, where's my order? Because I even have an order number. So I don't know what's going on there. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have gotten your lipsticks yet because I got them the day that they released. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys already gotten your order or like what's going on because I'm at a complete loss with it. So I was really trying to hold off until I got those three liquid lipsticks, but... I don't even know where those are at. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this review anyways. So also this review is a collaboration with the beautiful Danielle Ray here on YouTube, you guys. I have collabed with Danielle before and I have to say, you guys, she is one of the most sweetest girls here on YouTube. I absolutely love her channel. She does a ton of reviews, unboxings, tutorials. Her channel is a lot like mine, so I know you guys will absolutely love her. She's also getting ready to do a really huge giveaway, which I'm so excited. So definitely go hop over to Danielle's channel and check out her tutorial on the Beauty Killer palette. I know it's absolutely gonna be gorgeous. I've already seen a snap of it. I am really excited to watch it myself. So definitely go over there and subscribe to her and let her know that I sent you guys. I really love her channel and she's honestly the sweetest. So definitely go subscribe. I know you'll love her. And also if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Madison. Feel free to subscribe right here. That way, you, I always say this in like a rhythm, but that way you get notified for future videos. And yeah, so now let's just go ahead ahead and get into this doper nope. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be reviewing in this doper nope is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette. I really, really like the packaging of this palette. It's super thin and sleek, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of Lorac packaging. So you just open it up here, you have your really huge mirror right there, and then you also have 10 huge eyeshadow pans in here. These are ginormous, they are absolutely gorgeous. I use this palette today to create the look that I'm wearing on my eyes. You guys can see, I added some blue on the bottom line and you know I never add color to my eyes. I'm very into neutral makeup look. I never really step out of my comfort zone, but I kind of stepped out a little bit and added some blue to the bottom lash line. So this palette retails for $45, which definitely, I think it's definitely worth it because these pans are so huge. My favorite shade is the shade Courtney right here. It is a gorgeous peach shade that's perfect for a transition shade. I really like it. And you can see I made a very neutral look with this. And I just did a pop of color on that bottom lash line. So this is still very wearable. So by first impression, I really do like the color selection. I think this is a fun palette. And also this palette is something very different than what I have in my collection. Like all these colors in one palette is just, I don't have any palette like this. So that's why I'm really excited about it. So there are three different types of finishes in this palette you have a matte finish, you have a glitter finish, and you have a frost finish. So the glitter finishes are a little bit more chunkier, frost finishes are very smooth and kind of sheen-like, and then your matte finishes is obviously a very matte finish. There's no shimmer, there's no sheen to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching these and we're gonna go over each shadow and I'm gonna let you guys know my opinion on them. All right, so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Star Power, which is this very hot pink shade right here. So there it is on my arm. So you can kind of see just from one swipe, it is a little bit patchy. I have heard that this one is a little bit harder to blend out, but then other people say, oh, it's really easy to blend out. I honestly think it comes down to the technique. Make sure to put a transition shade there and then put this on top to help it blend out. But it's a very hot, pink. I also do notice that whenever I swatch it with my finger, I do get a little bit of a pink stain on my finger. This is the only shade that I've noticed this with, so I definitely want to let you guys know about that. It, it does leave a little bit of a stain, I've noticed. But yeah, I think it's a gorgeous shade. It is a little bit patchy when you swatch it, but I definitely think if you use a really good transition with it, you can make it work. All right, so next I'm going to be swatching Princess, and this is one of the frost shades right here. It's a really gorgeous light lavender frost. Oh, it's so pretty. Check that out. This one, the formulation is amazing. It's even, it's not patchy. There's not a ton of fallout from it either. This would look really pretty on the brow bone. It would also look really pretty in the inner corner or even just putting it on the lid. So this is definitely a really well formulated shade in the palette. All right, so the next one I'm gonna swatch is called Violence. And this is another frost shade. This one has a little bit more fallout when you are putting your brush in the pan. I definitely did notice that when I was doing my makeup with it is that when you put your brush in it, it kind of just 
crumbles a little bit, you know? There definitely is a lot of excess powder, but I didn't notice any fallout on my face, which was definitely a positive thing, but I just wanna let you guys know that as well. So this one is a really pretty plum frost shade. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is formulated just like Princess, and I think it also is another stunning shade. You can definitely put Princess all over the lid and then put a little bit of violence on the outer corner and you can create a really pretty look with it. So I definitely really like violence. All right, so the next one I'm gonna be swatching is called Rich Bitch. <laughs> so weird saying that okay it's called rich bitch it is a very gold and glittery shade this is one of the glitter shades it's definitely a lot more chunkier and again when you put your finger or your brush in it it definitely has a little bit of fallout I tried to place this one on the inner corner of my eye oh wasn't a fan of it at all I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right now so there it is on my arm like it swatched really nicely there but it definitely is a little like bit patchy in there. It's not like fully opaque. I definitely do see pieces of skin underneath it. So it's kind of like patchy in the sense. So my recommendation for using this shade is definitely use eye drops either on your brush or using matte fix plus and you kind of make it like a almost like a foiled eyeshadow in a sense it will make it a lot easier to work with because it definitely is a chunkier glitter eyeshadow like you can feel the grittiness when you put your finger in it so I'm kind of disappointed about that I wish it had more of like a foiled finish like the makeup geek ones do where they're just really smooth and creamy and pigmented and you don't have to use matte fix plus with it so that was like one down part for me on that one, but that's just me. All right, so the next shade I'm gonna swatch is called Courtney, and this is actually my favorite shade out of the palette. It's what I'm wearing in my crease right now. It's like my transition shade. This one is a really pretty peachy shade. It's perfect for a transition. Look at how pretty that is. It's like a really pretty light brown peach shade. I love it. I think it looks gorgeous. It has a little bit more warmer tone to it and it swatches beautifully. Again, when you put your brush in this one, it does kind of get a little powdery, but there was no fallout on my face. I just noticed there was a lot of fallout in the palette, if you guys understand. I'll probably be showing you guys a close up of that, but yeah, so it's a gorgeous shade though. I really like this one. Okay, so next up I'm swatching the shade Expensive. Ooh, this one is another kind of a glitter shade. I wouldn't call this a frost. And it's definitely not as gritty as Rich Bitch is, but you definitely do feel a little bit of the glitter chunks in it. It swatched pretty. It definitely is kind of patchy. I use this one on the lower lash line. It definitely did work out pretty well down there. I also went in with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL in I-24, which is a really pretty blue. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. So I put this on the lower lash line as well, just kind of make expensive pop a little bit more. It definitely is a really pretty shade. And again, if you want to put this on the upper lids, I would definitely recommend using Max Fix Plus. All right, so next up, I'm going into the shade Confession. And this one is a really pretty frost burgundy shade. Check that one out. I love this one. I actually took a little bit on my brush and put it on the outer corner of my eye and then took a really fluffy blending brush and just blended it out so it wasn't too harsh. It's just more subtle as you can see and it's stunning. I really, really like that one. It's super easy to work with, super easy to blend as well. I definitely really love Confession. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be swatching the shade Vanity, and this is one of their matte shades. This is a kind of a, um, it looks almost like a black, but it feels more like a darker plum shade that's very deep. It's not chalky, I don't notice much fallout from it, it's very pigmented, and I definitely don't see it being hard to blend out either. I think it's definitely it was a really good formulated dark shade. I like the fact that it's not chalky, that's a plus. <laughs> I'm running out of space on my arm here, <laughs> no! All right, so the next one I'm gonna swatch is called China White, and I am so happy that he put a matte cream shade in here. It's not like, it says China white. It's not like a white white, like a stark white, which I'm so happy about. It's more like an off white shadow, which is stunning. I love it. I have this one on the inner corner of my lid and also on my brow bone. Definitely is very pigmented, easy to work with. I love that one. All right, so the last shade in the collection is called Black Rainbow. And this is another glitter shade. Let's swatch that. Oh, this one swatches beautifully. Look at how pigmented that is. Oh my gosh, definitely use a light hand with that one. It didn't come out patchy at all. It's very like well formulated. It has a little bit of glitter in it. And it also is a glitter shade, but you don't feel the chunkiness of the glitter, if you know what I'm saying. So 
I really like that one. That one definitely was like the best one out of all the glitter shades in this palette. It is definitely very pigmented and really pretty. All right, so those are all the swatches of these eyeshadows in this palette. And honestly, I think overall, this is a really gorgeous palette. They are very pigmented. They are easy to work with. Just definitely when you're using those glitter shades, use some Max Fix Plus or even some eye drops. That would really help too on your brush to kind of make it like a foiled shadow, almost like the Makeup Geeks. It would make it a lot more pigmented and even. So my overall thoughts on this palette is it a dope or a nope I definitely have to say dope because the majority of the shades are amazing and I definitely really like this palette it's something so different that can be used for really natural looks and be used for really dramatic looks so I definitely highly recommend this palette you guys I really love the shadows all right so next up I have here is the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub in Strawberry Gum Oh my goodness, this stuff is amazing. It tastes really, really good. So I actually got this on beautylish.com. Definitely go to beautylish, guys. They have a ton of Jeffree Star's cosmetics products over there. This retails for $12 and it is so nice. All I do is just take a little bit on my finger and then scrub it on my lips. And also I'll take like a washcloth and scrub even more to make sure I get all that dead skin off of there. Especially if you're gonna be using a liquid lipstick, definitely scrub your lips beforehand and then put a balm on while you're getting ready and then put your liquid lipstick on. It makes it look so much more flawless and it doesn't get all crusty on your lips. So is this a dope or a nope? I definitely have to say it's a dope and definitely go check out the other flavors they have. They have like mojito, root beer, pumpkin, and spice they have a ton so definitely go check them out all right so next up i'm gonna be talking about is the jeffree star cosmetics in the skin frost mint condition so first off this packaging is huge oh my god when i was seeing everyone snaps and talking about this they're all saying oh the packaging is huge but when you actually see it in person and you're holding it in your hand you see how look at this it's like bigger than the, it's like the size of the palm of my hand which is insane but God, it's crazy. It's definitely very sturdy packaging, which I actually really like. It's something so different than all the other stuff that you see. And these also retail for $29, but this is what it looks like. So he actually came out with four in his collection. And I was only able to get one of them and that is mint condition. And I know when you look at it, you're like, ooh, how are you gonna be able to use that as a highlight? Like this is intense. So I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today, but I did go in and mix it with my Lorac highlight in Starlight. I put just a tiny bit on a fan brush. I didn't use a too dense of a brush. I just wanted a very light sweep of this. So I put a little bit of this on my cheekbones and then I topped it off with Starlight just to kind of tone it down a bit. I do notice though, when you put this on by itself too, it's kind of gray on the cheekbone, so I definitely want to warn you guys about that. Use a very light hand with this. I'm going to swatch it for you right now so you can take a look at it. There it is right there. Look at how pigmented that is. It's insane. And then when you swatch it, it doesn't even feel like a powder. It feels like a cream product. It doesn't even feel like it's a powder highlight. It's crazy. I really like the feel of it and the formulation of it. And also I wanna let you guys know that I do notice that this one emphasized texture a little bit more. You can kind of see mine right there, which kind of sucks. But in all honesty, majority highlights out there do emphasize texture on your cheekbones. There are some out there that don't as much as others. Like my Lorac ones don't emphasize it as much as others. That's why I really, really like the Lorac ones. They're very finely milled. But yeah, I just want to warn you about that. I honestly am probably going to use this one more as an eyeshadow rather than a highlight you know, on my cheekbones because it's just, I don't know. I don't know. You have to use a very light hand with it. So is the Skint Frost Mint Condition a dope or a nope for me? I'm honestly gonna say it's a nope. And that's because I can't use it really as a highlight, I feel like. I'm just really worried that it looks a little bit too gray on my cheekbones, but I think it'd be really gorgeous as an eyeshadow. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna be talking about is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in I'm Nude. This is actually the shade that I'm wearing on my lips. I did line my lips with the Too Faced Perfect Lips um, Perfect Nude. This is one of my favorite nude liners. Go get this, it's amazing. So I lined my lips completely with the lip liner and then I topped it with the liquid lipstick and then I just kind of patted it out just to make it very thin and comfortable to wear. I really do like the formulations of these. They are very thin, really comfortable. They don't dry down like really gross on your lips either. And I don't see it bothering me throughout the day, which is awesome. There's so many liquid lips out there that are so drying and so crusty and they just kind of crumble throughout the day. This one, no, I really, really like the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. 
This one kind of threw me for a loop though. You can't really tell because I did line my lips with a nude lip liner underneath it. When I swatched this when I first got it in the mail, I thought I was gonna be getting a nude lipstick, but as it was sitting on my skin, it was turning more pink. I don't really follow Jeffree Star Cosmetics that much, so I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, but I definitely did notice that. And I also watched his liquid lipstick challenge with Manny MUA, and Manny put this on his face, and you saw how pink his face got, right? It's because this lipstick turns pink on you. It's insane. I'm gonna swatch it for you right now. Also, these retail for $18. So these are on the more less expensive end of liquid lipsticks. They usually range from $20 to $25, which is another plus to these but I'm gonna swatch it right here. You can see it comes out like a really gorgeous nude, but as it sits on your skin, it turns into a really kind of like nudie pink. I don't know, it's just, I was blown away. I was like, whoa, this just changed on me. It was crazy. So you can kind of see it now, it's kind of turning a little pink. It's really unique, I love it, I don't hate it, but I definitely did notice that when it was sitting on my skin, I was like, Oh my god, I thought you were gonna stay nude, but no, it turns a little bit of a light pink. So it's really, really pretty. I really like the formulation of them. They're very comfortable on the lips, and I just have nothing bad to say about it. But I thought I'm nude was pretty interesting just because it definitely changes colors on you. So is a liquid lipstick a dope or a nope for me? I definitely have to say it's a dope. I love the formulation, very comfortable to wear, and they are very long wearing as well. All right, so those are all the products that I purchased from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I hope that the other three liquid lipsticks that I order come in soon, but Overall, I think he has some really great products. I really love the ingredients in them and they are formulated really well. So I definitely give a thumbs up to his collection and I can't wait to purchase more from there. Also, don't forget to check out Danielle Ray's channel for her tutorial on the Beauty Killer palette and definitely go subscribe over there as well. Let her know that I sent you. I know you guys will absolutely love her. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this Dover Nope on the Jeffree Star Cosmetics collection, then please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Lips and they don't really crust. It. Ooh, hang on. See, with you being here, it throws me off. <laughs> it makes it, makes it look. So much more flawless. Oh, it's so hot in here and I have the air down to 73. I got like so much energy right now, which I really don't, but I'm trying. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be swatching.